All right, so I got another question from Ray Burke about cleaning roofs, using bleach, and does it cause damage? It's something that I hear all the time. I wanted to address it today. Hopefully, we can answer that question and maybe a couple others, but uh, let's get right into that question. So Ray says, Mike, I'm a huge fan. I've been in business a long time, but I still learned so much from you in the core four, and I have one question about roof cleaning. Can bleach hurt an asphalt shingle roof? Now, first off, thank you for watching. I appreciate that, and I'm glad we can help your business. But to answer your question, I'm going to first talk about the chemicals that we use, the processes, and the methodology, why we do the things that we do, and also a few things that you need to take into consideration when you're out there washing roofs. So the first thing that we need to know about is the chemical that we use. And Ray had mentioned bleach, which is the name that most everybody knows it by. Now in the industry, we sometimes refer to it as sodium hypochlorite or SH. The difference between sodium hypochlorite and bleach is the consistency of the substance. Sodium hypochlorite is a powder. It's the active ingredient. And that is what's mixed with water to create bleach. Bleach on the other hand is just liquid and it is simply the finished product that is the result of combining the powdered sodium hypochlorite and the water. So bleach is pretty much the common household name that we all know it by and what you can buy at the grocery store. Most professionals, they don't buy it at the grocery store and we use a significantly stronger percentage, uh, anywhere from 10 to 12%. That's pretty much the norm. And we will be talking about the ratios that we use on asphalt shingle roofs in a minute and how to achieve that ratio. So hang tight. So Ray's question is, can bleach hurt an asphalt shingle roof. And yeah, of course it can. In theory, anything can hurt anything if you're not using the right process. If you were to go and pour 20% SH on an asphalt shingle roof or anything else for that matter, it would probably cause some damage. And that is why we use specific processes in order to mitigate potential risk to our customer's property. I had mentioned that we use a 10 to 12% bleach, but that is just the starting point. That's what we buy. No one is really applying that to any surface without some sort of dilution. And when we're applying the SH mixture to a roof, we target a four to maybe a 5% ratio, depending on the severity of the organic buildup and the staining that's associated with that organic buildup. Now you're going to encounter different organic matter on the roof. Mostly what we deal with down here in Southeast Georgia is Gloeocapsa magma. It is a nasty looking algae that's made us a ton of money over the years. And you hear people say all the time, never wash a roof. That is 100% incorrect. They are correct that you should never pressure wash a roof. If you see anybody or if you hear anybody saying that they're going to pressure wash a roof, tell them to stop, tell them they're wrong. They're going to cause damage and they're probably going to get sued. But yes, 100%, you can wash a roof, but you got to do it the right way. We use a soft wash process, and that's what's recommended by ARMA, which is the Asphalt Roofing Manufacturers Association, which is a collective of various roofing manufacturers that have come together to put together a process that's safe and effective, which helps to prolong the life of the roof rather than diminishing the life of the roof, which is what would happen if you used a pressure washer. So they recommend using a soft wash system, a bleach and water solution to kill the organic material. Their website says the Asphalt Roofing Manufacturers Association recommends using a 50-50 solution of household strength sodium hypochlorite pool chlorine uh, and water to remove moss and algae. Now this is a little vague because we don't necessarily know what percentage that they're talking about when they're talking about pool chlorine, but I can only assume that they're talking about something that's a little bit stronger than a regular household mix because pool chlorine is stronger than a regular household mix, typically 10% mix. So we'll just base it on that, but they're recommending a 50, 50 blend, which takes us right back down to that five ish percent range to effectively clean an asphalt shingle roof. And if you guys are interested in learning how to batch mix to get exactly the right ratio, regardless of what it is, whether it's a 1%, 2%, 3%, 8%, you need to download Quote IQ because we have put a mix calculator in the app for you guys to figure it all out. You already know what size container you're using. You know what percentage of bleach you're mixing. You know what the target is. Now you enter all of that into the mix calculator and it's going to spit you out the exact perfect mix every single time. Not only have we built this app to make your business run smoother, to make it more effective, to make it more profitable, as well as send estimates, invoices, collect payments, but we've also put in a bunch of other great things like the mix calculator, like the 28 point inspection, all kinds of great things for you and your business to grow. So check it out. It's on the Apple and the Google Play Store. Well, let's get back to talking about Ray's question. So not only does Arma recommend using a water and bleach solution applied with a soft wash system to properly clean a roof without damaging it, but each of the individual asphalt shingle roof manufacturers recommend the same process. It's on their website. You can check it out for yourself. And I hear roofers and other people say all the time, well, of course they say that this is the way to do it because it's actually destroying the roof. 
And then you're going to have to replace it sooner and they're going to make more money because you're going to have to put a new roof on. That's not very logical thinking because all of these roofs have between a 15 and a 40 year warranty. And that warranty is voided if you're not properly cleaning it. So these folks want your roof to be cleaned properly so they don't have to replace it as quickly. Another question that goes along with the bleach destroying the shingles question is, does bleach rust out nails? Now that's a great question and we've all seen what water and bleach can do to metal. But if a roof is properly installed, there should be no exposed nails. And again, because we're using this low pressure process, uh, we're unable to push water up underneath the shingles. The process just doesn't allow that. Regardless, there's no chance for that to happen unless, of course, there are exposed nails. And if that's the case, then they could possibly rust, but they're going to rust from the rain anyway. But this is why we do pre-inspections. And this is why we talk to the homeowners prior to doing any type of work so we can eliminate potential issues. And we do that with good communication. And we all know that good communication and a good customer experience, which relates directly back to good communication is almost as important, if not more important than the actual work being performed, right? If you can have the conversation, if you can mitigate any potential risks, if you can mitigate any potential problems, if you can explain the process so everybody understands, that just contributes to that great experience and you're not going to have issues. So a little bit off topic, but something that uh, you can apply to your own business, I hope. Okay, so I'm going to walk you guys through a few of the things that you need to look out for and ways to protect your property in a second. And obviously, if you're watching this, you either have a roof that needs to be washed and you're looking for the best way to do it, or maybe figure out if the company you want to hire knows what they're doing, or you might want to be getting into the roof cleaning business yourself, which I highly recommend because it is highly profitable. But if you want to learn more about roof cleaning and how to clean everything else on a residential property, check this out. We put together the most intensive training the industry has ever seen. Over six hours of in-depth training on the best methods for cleaning houses, roofs, driveways, and every other surface you might encounter on a residential job site. How to wash covers, the chemicals to use, how to mix them, the equipment, the best methods to make you the most efficient and profitable you can be. Safety and property protection, specialty chemicals, as well as pro tips, and so much more. We've helped 4,500 students get their ECP certification, which means how to wash delivers and continues to deliver because it's yours to keep and review forever. We've also included an extensive Q&A section in each module, which gives you even more information at your fingertips. How to wash is less than the price of one house wash, so don't wait. Click the link below. Okay, so we've established that bleach does not hurt asphalt shingle roofs, but we know that bleach can have an impact on organic material, which is why we use it to kill the algae on the roof. And because it is so effective in killing organics, that runoff can have an impact on your customer's vegetation around their house. And I'm talking flowers, plants, grasses, bushes, and even trees. So you want to make sure that you are pre-wetting all the surrounding areas prior to beginning work. And this includes the sides of the house, the windows, anything that's around that you definitely might have overspray on and you just want to pre-wet everything. So if you do happen to have overspray, it's not going to have a direct impact. And you also need to be watering throughout the entire process. If you don't have a helper that can be down there as your ground man, your water man, uh, you can set up sprinklers throughout the entire process. If you guys have got gutters, you need to protect the downspouts. You need to manage that runoff from the downspouts. These are all things that are very important to understand and be prepared to handle when you are out washing a roof because not only are we concerned about the SH hurting the roof, but we're more concerned about the SH hurting everything around the roof. And that's the main thing that we need to be concerned about. So cover what needs to be covered. Water what needs to be watered. There's, there are bleach neutralizers as well that you can use that can help also mitigate any potential risk of that SH having an impact, a negative impact on your customer's property. So the more things that you can do to help protect the property, the better, because we don't want to cause any damage. All we want to do is leave a great looking roof and have that customer happy and telling all their friends, their neighbors, and everybody else about us. So that is it for today's video. I hope I answered Ray's question. If you got any other questions, Ray, just leave them in the comment section below. And that goes for every else. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out how to wash. And obviously the mix calculator in quote IQ, it's free. We want you to use it, download it on the Google play store, on the app store. And uh, I hope you have a great day.